Welcome to a new Decred bi-weekly news update for all things concerning decentralized credits. I'm your host Exodus, and today I'll start by informing you that from here on out, all videos will be uploaded to the video site BitChute. So if you're not a fan of YouTube and its censorship, consider subscribing to the new Decred channel on BitChute. The video quality isn't as high and the user interface might not be as nice, but it's a good alternative to YouTube, and it appears to be supportive of cryptocurrencies. Decred was once again mentioned in a few different media articles. Mizari.io released an article titled, What if Bitcoin had a treasury? In the article, they take note of Decred's innovative stakeholder controlled treasury that gets its funds from 10% of the Decred block reward, and that the treasury has already funded a PR firm in the development of a DEX on top of funding Decred's infrastructure. They write, if Bitcoin had Decred's treasury system and ran a similar budget, it would currently have a $9 billion treasury. At its peak in 2017, Bitcoin's treasury would have been worth more than $25 billion. Indeed, if the value of Decred's treasury could increase to such high levels, we can only imagine what stakeholders would be able to fund to better improve Decred and also better improve the world. You can check out proposals.decred.org to see what the treasury has funded thus far. Decred was featured in a project rundown by the Capital on Medium.com where they gave an in-depth look into the project, asking what Decred has accomplished, how it's different from Bitcoin, and what it plans to accomplish in the future. It's an easy to read article, I'd really recommend reading through this if you're still confused on what Decred is. You can now buy Decred on Transact.com, with the British Pound, Euro, Indian Rupee, and soon the US Dollar. It's always great to see more fiat on-ramp options being added. Definitely check them out. Decred is also available now on the Instant Exchange Simple Swap, so if you're looking to quickly trade between cryptocurrencies, be sure to check them out. Decred's number of mixed coins continues to grow with 23% of all circulating coins being mixed. This number will only go up as privacy is released to Decred's graphical wallet to Crediton later this year. Go to alpha.dcrdata.org to check out this chart for yourself. Progress continues to be made on the upcoming Decred Decentralized Exchange. Here we have another sneak peek from DCR contractor Victor Oliveira. There were two new Decred In-Depth podcasts released, one with Chris Berninski of Placeholder and a Decred Roundup with Checkmate, Permable Nino, and Mr. Black. Let's take a listen. So circling back to store of value, Chris, uh, what's your use case for DCR as a premium store of value? And why do you feel it's important to focus on this narrative? Starting with why Decred is a good store of value. Um, I like to think of it as Decred has it, um, H-A-S, it's a little corny, um, but it's hyper secure, it's adaptable, and it's sustainable. So it has it, you know, the, the hyper secure comes from hybrid proof of work proof of stake. Um, the adaptable comes both from the process for uh, consensus changes, but then also how conversations are held and um, recorded uh, for posterity on, on Politea. Uh, and then the sustainable is the, the network treasury. So, you know, those components make it a um, very stable, reliable, secure um, system, I think for decades to come. That's the bedrock, let's call it, of, of being a store of value. In a decentralized ecosystem, especially with these public ledgers, um, somebody needs to step up to the plate to document this type of stuff, right? Like I think documentation is one of the most important things that a cryptocurrency can have. And the amount of documentation that Decred has on it from like, if you just go look at the decred.org website, all these different research pieces that come out, the level of documentation that Decred has not only inspires confidence for people that don't really know much about the project and start looking into it. Like for example, one of my friends, he actually hit me up the other day. You know, I've been shilling Decred so long to all my friends that they're, they looked at, they're, they're starting to look at the price and like, this is just, this is such a steal. If this kid is that bullish on it, um, why don't I scoop it up? But they're always, everybody has always had the same questions. It's like, where do I start? And it's always podcasts and literature, right? For this update, there were no new proposals, but we did have two proposals finish voting on Politea. The billboard proposal was rejected with 17% of voters voting yes, with a voter turnout of 31%, meaning in total over 12,000 votes were cast. The proposer Remio thanked the community for the time and consideration, saying it was a fun learning process. The Decred content marketing with Crypto Noticias failed with 31% of voters voting yes, with a voter turnout of 31%. Once again, proposals need to have at least 60% in yes votes in order to be approved. Contractor Richard Red released a report for Iterative Capital's market-making services. 
This report considers the last seven months of the crypto markets, looking specifically at liquidity and the effect of market maker operations on some DCR pairs. It uses data collected from exchanges from August 2019 to April 2020. The report has a series of charts displaying trading volume and order book depth, and concludes with, there is no sign of a sustained organic increase in order book depth over the last five months, beyond the orders maintained by Iterative Capital as part of their market making activity. Thus far, it remains to be seen if there will be a follow up market maker proposal from iterative capital. Richard Red also had interesting input when talking about open source projects, saying if an open source community doesn't have governance, it will tend to devolve into a form of tyranny slash dictatorship. This is especially problematic when it is high stakes like a global cryptocurrency network. I created a quick and easy staking tutorial for Decred's wallet to credit on. This video shows just how easy it is to stake and participate in Decred's governance. It also goes over the life cycle your ticket will go through when you stake. I'll have to make a new video once the stake pools are changed because they will no longer require an account to use them. But for the time being, I think many will find this tutorial helpful. Even though in-person events have been canceled, there's still plenty of virtual meetups happening. Decred Australia held a meetup on April 30th led by analyst Checkmate who gave an on-chain presentation for both Decred and Bitcoin. So during periods of very high on-chain activity, the realized price will snap towards the actual price because you've got a lot of coins moving there's a gravity to for the realized price to move towards the uh, uh towards the spot price decred latin america had a segment on talentland tv where they talked about decred and informed their audience what it's like to participate in decred's unique contractor model decred brazil had a segment on bitconf where they presented decred to viewers they were also the main sponsor of the event the event took place on the bitconf facebook page Consensus 2020 will be held online and will be free, taking place on May 11th to May 15th, starting at 8.30 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Decred will have a number of presenters, so be sure to tune into that. Thanks for tuning into this week's bi-weekly news update. Make sure to check out Decred.org if you'd like to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.